Adrian Peterson had one of the most fantastic seasons last year. He ran over 2,000 yards. I believe it was 2,097. He mm-hmm. came back from a torn ACL. Yeah. He then spoke today, or at least over the weekend, on the use of HGH and how there are no testing procedures yet instituted in the NFL. Here's what he had to say. Firstly, on his case, I can't wait until they draw my blood. That's pretty confident. Hopefully he's not pulling a Ryan Braun. I sincerely doubt he is. <laughs> and then he goes on to say, To be honest with you, I've been hoping that uh, they did this a long time ago. You know, evening out the playing field to make guys be honest and truthful to themselves. I'm all natural. I work hard. This right here, it's a test for me personally. That I know that, I know that hey, I'm clean as a whistle and other guys as well. And then, like I say, it'll bring some guys to the forefront and be like, Hey, I guess this is how this guy's been performing so well. You've got guys out there trying to provide for their families. They're going to they're going to try to get that edge, get that advantage, especially if they're not worried about trying to get caught. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's being used. Yeah. That's the big point right yeah. at the end. Yeah, yeah it's, it's being, being used. used. Yeah, he knows a couple of people that's using it too. I mean, teammates, probably. Probably, but you know, I have to say that I really respect him for taking that stance on it because it's similar to what you see Floyd doing in boxing. He's like, I know that there's guys out there cheating. It's not my responsibility to call anybody's names but out. But he's instituting the Olympics but I'm, drug test. Exactly. But yeah. and so he's saying, I'm gonna take my power and do what I can do to clean up the sport that I've dedicated my life to. And I respect Adrian Peterson for doing that. He's like, you know, he he he's one of the model football players. He's one of the top football players in the league. And, you know, he's like, I know there are guys out there that's just out here getting it dirty, so I'm going to, you know, clean up the sport. Here's the quick thing about Adrian Peterson and just on his build, because, I mean, he's huge. Jack. He's, he's a humongous dude. We had Chris Cluey on the show last year, I believe, mm-hmm. and Jank was asking him, you know, have you, have you ever tried to tackle someone? And he was, like, busting his balls because yeah. he's a punter. And then, like, that's such a bad thing. Like, it's not a bad thing. He's a punter. Whatever. Right. Out of anything, punters are really important because they uh, they help you with field advantage like crazy. Yeah, they could be potential closers. Yeah, exactly. So, well, I don't know about closers. That might be going a little too far. But uh, either way, either way. Okay. So, here, here's guru. here's basically uh, what he said. Chris Kalui said about Adrian Peterson, I have never seen anyone who could eat so much cookie dough and looked so ripped in my life. Yeah. So, I mean, look, does it does that go into HGH? No, but he's eating cookie dough and he's still... It's just... I, I, just thought I, don't, I don't think he's taking HGH. I think he's drinking literal uh, Viking blood from the ancient days and he's just chan- blood. <laughs> channeling this... Uh, Viking warrior spirit when he gets out there. He doesn't do anything but perform. Yeah. He gets out there and he does everything that he says he's going to do and what people tell him he's not going to do. He reminds me of like Jim Brown, but 2.0. Yeah. I mean, but you know, obviously this is a new era of athletes now. So they're training differently. They're working harder. And man, like you can't say anything bad about him. Even when you talk about bad about him and you know, you kind of criticize his, the way he came back from the ACL, he says, yeah. There's like a, a, a HG Adrian Peterson Twitter handle out there. Yeah, he hears everything. He's aware of everything that's going on, and he just says, "Hey, you know, that just lets me know how blessed I am to be yeah. able to come back like this." Like he doesn't even respond to the naysayers the way that you would, you know, think that he would. You know, he's he's like a, a boy scout. You gotta fucking love this guy. <laughs> so let me ask you this, because a lot of people have been talking about this with biogenesis and Major League Baseball and mm-hmm. what's going on. I'm asking you, and then I'll give my take. Do you think just everything should be legal? It's a level playing field. Everyone can take whatever they want. They could take whatever steroids they want. They could do whatever they want. Level playing field, take whatever you want, and just go play. Absolutely not. Why? Because you're not the same person. You're not the same person. There are certain things that you can take that you won't feel a hit, or you'll run faster, or you'll, you'll, your adrenaline will kick in on horse levels and you'll be able to just sprint the length of the field. You're not giving the fans, you're not being true to yourself and you're not being true to your fans. You're not who you are. You know, you're somebody completely different when you're taking these substances. Understood. So after the lockout occurred in Major League Baseball, Mm -hmm. uh, they pretty much, Bud Selig pretty much let everyone use whatever the hell they wanted to use. And the home run ball, the home run sequence, you could say, that play, Uh, the towering home runs that Mark McGuire and Sammy Sosa hit. That's what drew fans back into Major League Baseball. So saying that you're not being true to your fans, I don't think the fans give a shit. 
because you know what? For a lot of Cardinals fans and a lot of Cubs fans and a lot of those, a lot of those baseball fans, oh, what, what's the what's the best moment you've seen in sports history? Oh, I was at McGuire's game. Oh, I, I, I remember when I, I saw McGuire. Hit. But if the if the fans Barry don't Bones. care, if the fans really don't care, then why is there such a backlash on these athletes who come out to be dirty after the fact? Uh. I don't know. I think it's mainly because they want to be entertained, and I might not understand. I mean, like they want to be entertained. Yeah. Thus, they're okay with it at that point. But then, once everything comes out, oh, cheater, cheater. Exactly. So yeah. you you can't have your cake and eat it too. You have to be able to have you have to have a, a level expectation. You can't say, Rick, go ahead and take all of these uh you know power pellets and then go run a uh, I don't know run the, the distance of a football field and then come back and you can't do it the next season and, yeah. and be mad at you about it yeah. if you if you weren't allowed to take the same drugs. So I'm just going to, I was playing devil's advocate. Obviously, no. There should not be steroids and everything legal in all Rick sports. Rick loves power pellets. I've I do not. I, I, I like Cliff Bars, though. Cliff Bars are all. Awesome. <laughs>